Welcome to Forensic Detectors calibration of our FD600 oxygen version folks, O2 oxygen and this is our beauty FD600 inlet barb. Air is being drawn from our micro pump into the detector slash analyzer folks. Oxygen. Now this could come with variants. It could have CO and O2. It could have CO2 and O2. Your variant could be different. This is a single gas analyzer, just oxygen. If you have a variant and it does have oxygen, this video is also applicable only for oxygen. So there's two parts to this video. One is a quick calibration to 20.9%. Sometimes the 20.9 wavers, it could go down, it could be 20.6, 20.3, or could be above 21.1. You want to always get it at a starting point of 20.9. Dr. Cos, how do we do that? So the way we do it, press menu, go down to gas check, means gas calibration, edit. We're gonna pop in our passcode, one, 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 one. Sure, sure, bang, select O2, enter. <clears throat> now, here it tells you, well, you wanna calibrate to 20.9, and yes, I do wanna calibrate to 20.9, and we're gonna press save, save corresponds to this button. We're gonna press save, and it's gonna lock it at 20.9. Obviously, in this example, it is already 20.9, but we have to pretend it's not 20.9, and that is the procedure you would follow. Okay, so you press save, you could press it again, it's gonna lock it in, success, go back, and you are at 20.9. So you've calibrated it at the atmospheric oxygen level, which is 20.9%. Again, it's a good idea to do that uh, before you start the day's work and you wanna make sure the level is always starting at 20.9. Now, we recommend every six to 12 months to do a technical calibration, folks, and that's where we get the zero baseline. We get it to 20.9% calibration like we did, and we wanna check the linearity in between, maybe at 1% oxygen or 0.5% oxygen. So let's go through how we undertake a technical calibration. What do we need? We need our pure nitrogen cylinder. Attached to it is our gas regulator. And attached to that is our silicone tubing. We have a T-piece, one will be popping into the analyzer, and the other part is to either for the micro pump to draw residual to make up and so there's not much of a pressure differential or for it to spit out any excess pressure that we're drawing, uh, pushing into the analyzer that it cannot suck in. It's gonna be taken out from this um, residual T-piece over here. Okay, folks, so that's the way we typically do it. You could go ahead and pop that in. This is the way we do it. Whenever there's a micro pump, we need that T-piece. Otherwise, if we go straight from the cylinder into the micro pump, you're gonna either stress the micro pump or, and, and it's, it's not gonna be a proper way. So you're gonna have a lot of pressure differential there. Okay, so 20.9, we're gonna turn on the pure nitrogen and you're gonna see that go down. Okay, folks, so again, we want about 0.5 liters per minute and again, the micro pump is drawing in a fixed amount of flow. Any excess flow that I'm drawing, it's gonna be coming out from there. Okay, so I could feel a little bit of excess flows coming out, I could feel that. And that's the whole reason why we do that, okay? Now give that a good minute and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's been 60 seconds. We are pushing nitrogen in, it's coming in, and we're going for a zero calibration. The analyzer is reading 0.00. .00. Therefore, we are ready to zero calibrate. Now, yours possibly may read 0.10 or 0.05. It doesn't matter what it reads, as long as it's stable with pure nitrogen, and we're gonna force it to zero. Okay, so what we do, go to the menu, go to gas zero, select oxygen, and you're gonna simply press save. Bang, you're done. You have completed the first part of the technical calibration, which was your zero calibration. So go back to the home folks. Now pop that off and let that come back and stabilize to about 20.9 and let's see where that goes. I'll be back in about 60 seconds. Okay folks, it's been 60 seconds and my analyzer is reading 20.9. If yours is reading a bit off 20.6 or 21.0 or 21.2, it doesn't matter because the second part is for us to actually undertake the span calibration. Go to gas check. Put in again, one, 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 enter. 
sure, and you want to lock it in to 20.9, okay? You want to do this irrespective because there could be some noise fluctuating in the actual 20.9 voltage level. So you want to just lock it in, okay? And then you are done. You have undertaken your 20.9 span calibration, folks. Now the third part, which is optional, and it's just for confidence building, is a linearity check. And we have a bottle here of oxygen, 0.5% of volume. And this is great for those that are doing headspace analysis, because you want to get down to the low levels of oxygen. You want to make sure the actual analyzer is linear. So we always do this, um, and we verify the linearity of these analyzers with 0.5% volume of oxygen. So go ahead. Plug up your tubing with your T-piece and turn on 0.5 liters of gas over here and you're going to see that start dropping, okay? Once we get that going, we're going to be back in about 60 seconds and we're going to see where that actually um, has asymptoted towards or where it's settling towards, okay? Okay, folks, we're exposing 0.5%. We're getting a reading of 0.65%, which is fantastic. Less than 1% full-scale linearity error, folks. And that's how you test the linearity of your FD600 oxygen analyzer, folks. Go ahead and unplug that and turn the gas off. And that will climb up to 20.9. So that is the way with your quick calibration to 20.90 calibration and a technical span calibration folks again we need pure nitrogen a span which is 20.9 in air and you also need a middle range another point if you're doing headspace we recommend low levels of oxygen that best represents the gas that's in your modified atmosphere packaging folks look till then have a great day and see you soon